everybody. How y'all doing again? This is Shane. Now another thing about uh, studying into the Bible is you get to study into the Greek. Now if you're a college student you already are familiarized with the Greek a little bit. Now again if you remember in Strong's Concordance of the Bible you have the definitions of certain words in, uh, in the Old and New Testament. Turn to 1 Kings 11.5. For Solomon went after Ashtaroth, the goddess of the Zidonians, and after Malcolm, the abomination of the Ammonites. Ammonites. Um, now, when referred to as the goddess in the Hebrew, E L. H-Y is what was used. Not E-L-H-Y-M. And also in thirty-three because they have forsaken me and have worshipped Ashtaroth the goddess of the Zidonite, Zidonians, Chemosh, the god of the Moabs, Bites, and Milcom, the god of the children of Ammon, and have not walked in my ways to do that which is right in mine eyes, and to keep my statutes and my judgments as did David his father. Now, um, the thing is, even when referring to these gods, El He was what the word that was used. Um, e L H I Y. When referring to gods or goddesses in the Old Testament, E L H Y was what was used. Or, in the Hebrew, um, Aleph, Lamed, Hod, um, I mean, Hey, and Yod. In the Hebrew letter Aleph is the first letter of the alphabet used in the Hebrew with an Tizray, Seray, or an E with a long A sound is used as the vowel under the consonant. Lamed or Lal Mead Hay or H and Yod for Y. So L H why is the word used in the Hebrew for God and goddesses. Now when referring to plural, more than one you use Elohim. Which is E-L-H-Y-M or 
Aleph, Lamed, Hey, Yod, Definition 4030 is where you find Elohim or Elhi. Uh, 